physically, conquer mentally. I have the best commute that I can think of. I go around the seawall. I get to see birds. I get to see runners and joggers and people with their dogs. I get to see natural beauty and the interesting shape that the man-made beauty that's taking on Vancouver. It puts the city on a human level for me and it just makes me feel like I'm a part of the city instead of feeling apart from the city. Check it out, y'all. Well, Atlanta has been called Sprawlanta. You know, it's the capital of sprawl. Look in the dictionary, it'll say, see Atlanta. Rectangle. Ripping it up, giving it up, yo, we lifting it up. Atlanta is the poster child of suburban sprawl, and it's everywhere. It's as far as the eye can go. Atlanta's been a classic example of the drive till you qualify affordable model where the cheap land, the cheap housing is out at the edge. Car crashes are the major cause of death among young people in this country. It's not just riding in a car that's dangerous. All over Atlanta, you see folks trying to get across eight lanes of traffic, one lane at a time, like some sort of morbid version of the game Frogger. Sixty people were killed by cars while on foot in 2008. Margaret Mitchell, the author of Gone with the Wind, was killed crossing Peachtree Street, hit by a car. L.A. is a car-oriented city, no question about that, but this idea that people don't walk in L.A., that L.A. is not walkable, is actually not true. I always say, if you think nobody walks in L.A., you're looking out the window of your car. In downtown, you see lots of people walking. Uh, in other neighborhoods, you see walking taking place. In, in neighborhood clusters, it's spreading. And it's really fun to see people out walking around Los Angeles because getting people out of the cars, walking and on their bicycles is the way to go. And how great would it be if we could actually have people doing what they did today, out walking around Elysian Park, out walking around Echo Park, and let's get back to being a more um, friendly society. There's a great reason why they're doing this event today. Group of people had heard about this event called Ciclovia in Bogota, Colombia, which started in 1974, and that was our inspiration. In South America, starting with Bogota, they take over miles and miles of streets every Sunday, and they repurpose the streets temporarily so that people can use them. We went in to the mayor's office and said, we have this crazy idea. We want to move cars out and just give it to people. Uh, we had the audacity to say we were going to double the size of the rail system, uh, that we're going to make this a city that's livable, where we grow together, grow greener, grow more civic-minded, and grow safer, and uh, I couldn't be prouder of that. Yeah!